The Steelers got to have the most savage team in the NFL. Think about it. They can line up George Pickens, Darnell Washington, right next to Broderick Jones, and then clear out the entire left side because we know how great of a blocker Darnell Washington is. He takes out everybody he sees in open space. Of course, Broderick Jones is an old lineman blocking. It's his job, but that dude is also a savage in open space. But we've seen George Pickens completely body NFL players. This dude literally created a new move off the line. And the new move was just push the dude in front of you if he plays press. I mean, it was it's pretty genius because it worked, quite frankly. But the Steelers, if you think about it, offensive line, defensive line, the old school Steelers team is coming back. I'm trying to tell people, but they got to have the most savage team in the NFL. If not them... Just off the Eagles draft class, you could put the Eagles number one, if not the Steelers. But what the Steelers have now in terms of size and strength, and I'm not even talking about the O-line, the picket fence. We've talked about them a lot. But let's look at the tight end room. You got Zach Gentry, 6'9", six 6'8", six whatever height he is, he's very tall. Muscular as well, one of the better blocking tight ends in the NFL. Guess who's also one of the better blocking tight ends in the NFL? Pat Fryermuth. And then you got Darnell Washington now, who could easily, very easily become the best blocking tight end in the NFL, maybe even as a rookie. That's just your tight end room. And I didn't even mention Connor Hayward, who also has a lot of potential. And then you got the most savage wide receiver in the NFL, George Pickens. And then let's head over to the defense. Keanu Benton, Larry Ogunjobi, Cam Hayward, Alex Highsmith, TJ Watt. Cole Holcomb, Mika Fitzpatrick, Patrick Peterson. I mean, the Steelers really are the most savage team in the NFL when you look at all these dudes' resumes. And this is the exact type of personnel that the Steelers need to make another Super Bowl run, right? They can stop the run, they can run the football, they can manage the clock, and plus you got a quarterback who can make the throws he needs to make. Now, of course, there's still more to be proven with Kenny Pickett, but he proved quite a lot for a rookie who's thrown in to a hard situation. He gets a fresh, way better O-line now and a restock of weapons with Allen Robinson and, of course, Calvin Austin coming back. But again, I just think that this group can do something really special and that the Steelers have had one-sided teams, meaning stacked on offense or stacked on defense, but never this well-rounded. So if Kenny can be everything that us Steelers fans want him to be, the Steelers could seriously make a Super Bowl, and I know that sounds ridiculous and outrageous to a lot of people, but I genuinely believe it. If you look at the Steelers roster, there's some serious talent there, and again, if Kenny can be the guy, take that next step, then why not? What's holding this team back? I don't see one major area where you're like, oh, yeah, that's going to hold them back when week 17 or week 18 or, you know, the, the wild card week comes around. I don't see that part of this team. I think, again, it's a pretty well-rounded team. But let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below about the Steelers playoff hopes. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this video. And that is it for me on this one. Peace.